good morning guys. Now it's um seven is it six something? Yeah, it's six something, six forty-five AM here in Reykjavik and I'm ready to take my flight to London. So it's the last time I'll be saying hi from Reykjavik from Iceland and uh, I had to wake up really early so the time that I wake up I woke up at 3 3 and then breakfast was at 4 the hotel serves breakfast from 4 to 10 because it's an airport hotel and then at 5 we had to take the um, we had to take the bus over to the airport and then from there we've just been like going through the gates going through duty free and then coming here so yeah the flight is in about um one hour's time and then there'll be another like three hours to london so i will see you in london i guess see you at Heathrow airport It's more like I get to spend money and not feel very painful about it because stuff in London is definitely so much cheaper than in Iceland even though it's still pricier than in Singapore. So um, we're gonna go to our hotel now and I will see you at the hotel I guess. So here we are at Alhambra Hotel and I'm going to show you the room we got. So. We got room 19. It's not in the main building, but it's opposite. So I think they have a few houses and then they just um, turn them into guest rooms around. So this is our room. It's a quad room also. Look at the double beds. We have like two big double beds with like with two pillows each. So that's good. And um, here we have the vanity. Uh, cups and like um, a kettle, hair dryer, good stuff. Um, we have random art pieces. Uh, there's a TV, so that's nice. And there's a huge window here that overlooks some plants, greenery. It's nice to wake up to this. But for now, I'm closing it because um, it's better to film <laughs> with the sh curtains closed. Um, and then Right beside the entrance is the toilet and it's quite spacious. We have the toilet bowl, we have the sink and a standing shower. I mean there's no space for a bathtub. I would love a bathtub but it's fine, you know. So that's that's a nice size for a toilet I think. And yeah, so this is the room, a quad room at the Alhambra Hotel. There, one more last shot of the bedroom. There you go. Uh, we've stopped at Old Street Station and now we're making our way to Shoreditch. So, uh, we'll see. It's my first time here, so... Um, coming to uh, Old Street Station, so... Let's see what we'll like, chance upon when we make our way to Shoreditch.
so this is a uh, box park. Um, I have never been here before, but it looks kind of interesting, the concept of um, containers. I mean, we've seen that a lot everywhere, but this one looks kind of interesting in the way that uh, the shop fronts are placed. It looks like a normal street, uh, but like it's, I would say that it's more like uh, containers placed in a way to look like a normal shopping street. This is the old Spito Fields Market. Uh, we came here, I think, a little bit too late. It's like 5.20 p.m. and the stores are already closing. So um, it's open until 5 on Sundays. I think it's open every day, to be honest. Yeah, probably be better if we came here earlier. Lots of shops, uh, food around, yeah. So probably gonna look for something to eat soon, I guess. Ooh, so I walk down uh, this lane, and there's actually a lot more things that you can see at the far end. Yeah, so I think maybe we're not going to have dinner so soon. Just gonna look at all these shops. I mean, though they're like all the commercialized kinds, like. You know, Bobby Brown and whatever makeup and skincare and stuff. They're not like the, those indie brands or something. But you can find those along here in the push carts and the little, yeah, just the, the push carts out here. And some of them have set up stores and stuff. Whoa, this market is huge. And it's open every day. We're on our way to Poppy's for fish and chips. Uh, I've never been to this um, branch here, but I've, I've only been to the Camden one. So we're gonna try this out this time. Poppy's. Poppies. Um, it resembles like a 50s diner and um, the staff have uniforms that they rotate daily. It's quite a cute uh, concept for uh, the fish and chips store. And uh, the reason why Poppies is famous is because uh, they won the National Fish and Chips Award. Yep. So we've ordered our food, but we haven't gotten them yet. We have got so much food here. We've ordered um, haddock, the large haddock. We've had two of them to share among the four of us. And then we have the white bait, which is fried. I thought it wasn't fried, but this looks really good. And we have the jelly peel. It's a bit of a quiet taste. And we have calamari, six calamari to be exact. But overall, the food looks good and we're gonna dig in. So we're heading back to the hotel now. It's a rather early day, but a lot of shops close at 6 pm um, on Sundays. So we just had our dinner and then now we're gonna go back. Uh, so that's the end of the video. Hope you like it and you can hit the like button. You can subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.